name is Ian Meeks and I retired from the Victoria Police Force in 2001. In the 1980s, whilst a senior sergeant of the police transport branch, I came across a collection of uh, photographs of police cars that had been uh, damaged due to accidents. And uh, these photographs were taken in the 1930s. And I didn't realise uh, then that um, the type of cars that we used. And whilst I was in that position, I started collecting photographs, starting with the police records, then uh, off to the, um, the media, and uh, eventually you know, contacting uh, former policemen and getting as many photographs from them as I could. And uh, this um, collection went until uh, on and off until um, 2000 before I retired. And as a result, I collected about 400 odd images of police cars, only Victorian police cars, ranging from the earliest photograph was 1921 until 2000. This photograph is purportedly taken in 1921, which would make, us think, make it the oldest photograph in the collection. <coughs> it's taken in the Russell Street yard. This building here faces Mackenzie Street, and that building there faces Russell Street. Now, it's a, supposed to be uh, a photograph of all the uh, vehicles owned or operated by the motor police, the forerunner of the, uh, the traffic police and the wireless patrol. On the left we have the Black Mariah, which is probably either a Palm or a T-model Ford. The next car is the Hotchkiss, which was purchased in 1919 as the first CIB car. Next to that is a Palm, which was um, an Australian version of a T-model Ford. That was the first patrol car used by the motor police in the night patrols. They didn't patrol in the daytime, it was only during the night. The rest of the vehicles, um, sidecar, motorcycle sidecars, used by the, um, you see that these chaps in the white capes would have been the motorcycle patrol. I don't know what the functions of all the other police are. The problem with the police in this, this time, uh, 1921, is that most of them worked in plain, most of them worked in plain clothes. You'll see here um, a 1914, 1914 Triumph which has a number, the number plate of number one on it. Um, that's probably because the police then were in charge of registrations and they could put any plate they wanted on uh, their equipment. Um, one of other of interest you might see here, that's Harry Brand, who is the driver for the CIB car. Uh, that's, I believe, is Pop Downey, who was a senior constable in the motor police and who were organised and uh, instituted the wireless patrol. Um, small badges you'll see on the, on the jackets here, uh, the return soldier badges, they're around badges before the RSL came into being.